<clears throat> Today on the Black Sheep Channel, we're talking about water. Water storage specifically and carrying water with you and how important water is. So stay with us here on the Black Sheep Channel. Welcome back to the Black Sheep Channel. I am the Black Sheep. Today, talking about water, water storage. Specifically, I wanted to talk about these things. The flexible water container. I got that on uh, Bud K. A lot of, uh, I've seen a couple of videos saying, okay, just grab any old, I hate these things, any old water bottle and you can squish it up and put it in your pack and use it. How many people have gotten one of these things lately that has holes in it or is leaking or is wet or broken? These things are getting thinner and thinner and thinner all the time. So uh, bottled water while stacking it up. Uh, I've got plenty of stacks of it here in the house. We use it all the time, keep it rotated. It's a good thing to have on hand in case of an emergency, absolutely. Keep it rotated. Uh, but as far as using, reusing these containers, I'm not really a fan of that concept. If that's all you have, <laughs> that's what, that's all you have. Uh, but uh, I recently got a couple of these. I got three of these from Bud K. This one is 20 ounces. So that thing I just threw on the ground was 16.9 ounces. If you're wondering what the typical little water bottles you buy at the grocery store in the big cases are, they're about 16.9 ounces. This is 20 ounces. I think I got another 20 ounce, and then there's one that's like 26 or 30 ounces. They're, as you can see, flexible. This one I've had filled with water for uh, a couple of weeks now. I've been banging around, throwing it uh, on the ground and uh, drinking from it, seeing how well it stands. It does stand up. It's got a stand up bottom on there, like so. The only thing I can find to criticize about this thing <laughs> is this little graph on the back. <laughs> I'll do a close up B-roll so you can read it with me. But uh, number of days survivable in the shade without water, with no water, it says. Uh, I can survive in the shade for 10 days without water if it's only 70 degrees. I, I, I don't think that's correct. <laughs> uh, but it's got a handy little carabiner, uh, or a place for a carabiner. Didn't come with, I don't think it came with a carabiner. I think it just comes with a place to put it. And hence, that's where you're going to hang it on your go bag, right? <clears throat> The go bag here today is just for uh, display purposes. It's just for uh, background decoration. Uh, it's not like I'm worried about Yellowstone popping anytime soon or a hurricane or flood or a thunderstorm or, uh, or, uh, or anything like that. Um, do you hear that? No, no, never mind. Anyway, uh, these things are handy too water bottles that you can get some of them have filters in them i think this got, this one's got a filter kit that's what that is banging around on the inside of it so that's even got a filter in it um this one has got a place to hang a little carabiner those are handy too but when they're empty you still have using up this much space the advantage of one of these things is when it's empty you can we can roll it up and it uses up a lot less space in the go bag and as we've discussed many times about the go bag Space is, uh, space is what it's all about. Space and weight. So anyway, I got these on Bud K. I'll put the link in the description down below. Uh, I do not have an affiliate link uh, for Bud K. I'm not an affiliate member of Bud K. Uh, Mr. Cadell or whoever's in charge of your affiliate program, I'm a small channel, but I'm willing to learn. Uh, if you, <laughs> no, but I'll put the link down there so it's easy. That's where I got these. I will also put some affiliate links because I do have an Amazon affiliate program here trying to help fund the channel. And thanks to your uh, views and clicks, last month we made $1.44 through our Amazon affiliate program. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, but <laughs> just so you know, a lot of you guys out there are thinking, you know, people make a fortune with these YouTube channels. Well, that's... That's only if you got millions of clicks. Uh, I don't have millions of clicks. So I made a dollar and 44 cents last month, full disclosure, in my Amazon affiliate link. I'll put some links to Amazon products down below. If you'd like to support the channel, click on them and buy from the Amazon. It won't cost you anything else. It does give me a small commission. Like I said, sometimes very small, like a dollar and 44 cents. But we appreciate everything here on the channel. We've been trying to upgrade uh, our lights, trying to upgrade our sound, trying to upgrade our quality here. I'm not going to be running 
a background uh, soundtrack underneath this thing like I've been trying to do in editing. It sounds really good on the computer and when I'm in editing, but I watched one the other day on my cell phone, which is how all you folks are watching, and it sounded terrible. So I'm not going to do that anymore. Uh, and you guys should have told me about that. Comments in the description for crying out loud. This is a two-way uh, conversation here. If the video is bad, tell me about it in the description. If it doesn't sound good on your, on your iPhone, tell me about it in the description. If uh, you disagree with me and say, these are better than, the, than these, tell me about that in the description. Give me a thumbs up in the description. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, catch me next time here on the Black Sheep Channel.